And gentlemen, there's even more of Anthony Davis to love this year as he's added some muscle to his system. I like brain. it in the weight room. Watch out. <laughs> Could be that. scary. Yep. All right, we're going to break down his game both ends of the floor. But first, last season's top pick and uh, some observations on Anthony Davis from his teammates. Anthony's so special as a player because, you know, like I said, he's he's kind of just a freaky dude. Um, he's, he's a freak of nature on the court. I mean, you, he does things that you don't see 6'10 guys do. Um, he's fast. Um, he's always in shape. He can now shoot. Uh, he can put it on the floor, and he's a freak athlete. I mean, he he does things in the air sometimes when he, uh, like I've seen the past couple weeks in pickup, where like the whole gym will stop for a couple seconds to be like, he just did that. Anthony Davis is a special player because just look at him. Uh, the guy uh, is just a freak of nature in the best possible ways for a basketball player. He's got long arms. He's athletic. Uh, he's strong. He's he. He is just a very crafty player too, and he can score uh, whether it's shooting or posting up. Or he's impressed me in so many different ways. Just watch, just playing with him for a year. Well, there you have it, uh, Dennis. The calling card, though, is defense. Yes. With Anthony Davis, and will be again, and was evidenced even in preseason against some pretty good competition. Well, like all his teammates just said, he has a blessing act to know how to block shots. That's something that Monty Williams appreciated early on, but now he's getting with him on being able to get these block shots mano y mano. All these plays you watch right here, this is help defense, showing his athleticism, showing he can run the floor. What Monty's hoping for that now he can get in this post. You, you go down there, you be Dwight Howard, All right. and, and, and you're going to be Ryan Anderson guarding Dwight Howard. Okay. So right now, we've already shown through those highlights. He's having a flashback. Right, he's already flashback. Quit. He's yeah, yeah, I got the claw, <laughs> start making you that claw on you. <laughs> he Vince. was, too. You start making your move, Vince. We know Anthony Davis can stand behind two guys and block the shot. We know he can do that. So now what Monty Williams wants him to do, he wants him to get in that weight room, and now when Dwight goes for his move, or Paul Gasol, or Zach Randolph, or Mark Gasol, mm -hmm. they want Anthony Davis to guard him one-on-one -on -one and still have the strength when they go into their shot, to still be a big time shot block. Well, we talked about the strength and the muscle that he's added on during the offseason. Part of the reason why is to be able to handle bigs on the inside. That's the key for them as a defense. They talk about they want to get out and run more and get out and show their athleticism, but you got to get stops. You don't want to take the ball out the net every play right. and try to push well, it. Well, tremendous shot blocker, no question about it. Where does he have to improve, Derek? Offensively, what would you like to see more simple, in his repertoire? For me, simple and plain. I think he has, he has to get better on the block, have a go-to move, so to speak. You have to keep in mind this guy played guard in high school. That's right. Didn't develop lengthwise until he got a little bit older. So he's going to have to work on his inside game. Can already shoot the ball from the perimeter and those things. But I think any big, I, I think, have to have a go-to move down on the block. And when he's talking about Vince. When you're down low, when you, when you use his strength, so I'm going to play Anthony Davis this time. You get behind me and guard me, Vince. Yeah, hey, I'll guard you. No, you're going to be Drew Holiday. Okay. I need, you, I need to be Drew Holiday. <laughs> you get back here. All right. So now what, what he's talking about is as you get in his strength, most guys, they want one or two dribbles, pound, feel your guy, mm. either get to a little hook shot or get to a little face up, I mean, it's a little fadeaway baseline shot. Because of his quickness, I look for mine to teach him a play where now he can face guys. Now he can go right or left, use the athleticism to get him to the basket. The next phase is to go have a visit with Akeem. I think he'll be ready to go if he works on the block. No right. question about that. Last but not least, I think it's going to be their bread and butter, Drew Holiday mm -hmm. and Anthony Davis. Pick and Pick roll. Pick and roll. He comes off. Yep. Anthony Davis, you got alley-oop, catch it, dunk. But I think more often than not, because the way this league is divine, you want to have a stretch four. I know they have Ryan Anderson. But as soon as Anthony Davis can develop this shot right here, bang. If he can knock down this little mm -hmm. shot right here, mm -hmm. now the pump fake, dribble, all that stuff opens up. Hopefully, Monty will get him involved in that stuff early. Playing with a guy like Drew Holiday, he's going to put the ball where you need to have it, and everything should develop nice. Yeah, well, your world opens up when you can face up a la Tim Duncan, exactly. where now you don't know where he's going well, to go. And the other thing is bigs don't want to come venture out to the perimeter. So if he ever develops a perimeter game, like you're talking about, being able to knock down that shot consistently, going to be taking a lot of easy 14, 15-foot shots. Now, are you going to develop into a Marcus Canby type? We know you played a lot of, <laughs> league, lot of years in the league, mm -hmm. shot block or rebounder. Look at the comparison right here, body-wise. Or are you going to work on your game, be more like Kevin Garnett? He's in here, what, 17, 18 years? He's still not a post-up guy. He's a pick, pop, knock down that free throw line, elbow line, jump shot, mm -hmm. a mean defender.
Which one is Anthony Davis going to become 10 or 15 years from now? We, we want to place somebody where we can identify them. I, is he a four, a five? Is he a hybrid? What do you eventually see him become? Right, not, right now, I think he's a hybrid I, because he plays so much on the perimeter. But he has a huge upside. This kid is very young, very mm -hmm. young kid at this point, at this stage in his career. So give him some time to develop. We're asking a lot of a very young player only in his second year. So with time, I think he develops into one of the better five fours, whatever you want to call it, this league has seen. He's a hybrid, no question. Four or five, the bottom line is stay healthy so you can stay on the floor. Absolutely. You know what I like about him? It has nothing to do with his game. He was oh. in our studios last year, and he right. came bearing gifts. He bought you <laughs> gifts? Yes. You're a kind of guy. Well, I can't help but notice that you have some Pelican merchandise. Yeah, brought some Pelican gear <laughs> you for you just guys. Noticed that. I just noticed you <laughs> to have some there. That's all. Bring some nice. Pelican gear for you guys. Way to set well, the standard, you. young you. fellow. Thank when you all the guests much. come, That's they bring nice. us we'll, gifts. We'll I pass these it. along to everyone. Thank you very much. That's You're very welcome. nice of you You're to welcome. do that. I'll, I'll, I'll keep this for you, Vince. No, well, <laughs> just where I can see it. <laughs> and for you young players out there, if, if you come in studio here at NBA hey, TV, bring nice some. it never hurts <laughs> to come in with some hats or some shirts like that. I mean, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying the same it, thing. It we'll talk better about you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we are easy. We are easy to get.